What's up everybody? Welcome back to another one. We are in Louisville. It's a little bright out here for the baby. But we are in Louisville and getting ready to head on over to the convention center. We got this cool little Airbnb here. Little uh, you have the key. shed. Oh no, I don't. So uh, we're getting ready to head over there now to the truck show. So stay tuned for lots of cool trucking content. Enjoy the video guys. Take a little video of baby Sarah. <laughs> so it's just my wife and I and the baby. We decided to uh, kind of make this our anniversary trip as well. So <laughs> um, that's coming up here in two weeks. So it's going to be a good time just hanging out for the weekend. Look at all them people. We made it here. Get ready to go in the elevator. She's not too impressed yet. So. There is people everywhere. Let's see if we can meet the Boston trucker here. Yep, he's chatting with somebody else, so we'll catch him later. Show her at the booth. Not if any of y'all follow Bruce Wilson. What's he throw up? Uh, Bruce Wilson on YouTube. That's the Trotter Taxi, the blue one. hard to get this stuff on camera with everybody walking around but you know we're doing what we can excuse me that is some shiny paint Got to see that truck somewhere here. The new 589 or 389, whatever you want to call it. Really? Oh, there's so many people here today. The dump trucks over here. Kenworth. The all new Peterbilt. Replacing the 389. Not liking the windshield, but you know, new stuff seems to wear on you after a while. Big Rig Blake and Barbie. Here with their new build and their pickup the way it looks here at the renegade stand See, now I want to buy polished products, you know what I mean? <laughs> Check this fancy walking floor out. What a trailer. Wonder what that costs. I believe these are all Wilkins trailers. I think it's running, so let's check it out. products. How are you doing? Polish? Yeah. Give the samples away if you want to try it. Right, nice. 
Yeah, I'll try them out. Yeah. So blue stainless steel, white is chrome, red is aluminum. All right, appreciate it. I think I see you guys in the um, Gear Jammer magazine. No, I mean, this is, this is relatively... Oh, oh here. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm saying it's like real wheels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, thank you. All right, appreciate it. it. <laughs> Real Wheels Corporation, all kinds of chrome. The Legacy Sleepers booth. I got like, I don't know, seven or eight trucks here. Crazy. Get like your own, you have to take your home with you. Wild. I think you can go in and tour them, but they are all full. Everybody's checking them out. I don't know what's with the wheels. Some over there with blue wheels too. These Landals are pretty sweet. All the chrome trailers here. I mean, look at that. Polished. It's <laughs> crazy. Imagine polishing that. Take time. I'm gonna walk over and get Bruce's truck on film. I didn't talk to the Boston trucker yet, he was busy. Okay. Too many other people there are chatting. Right. So we'll get him tomorrow. Thank you. Yep. Oh, 389X flat top. Win this truck. Let's go check it out. You guys like the chrome fenders? Looks all right, but I'm not a fan, but everybody's got different tastes. I'm not going to be filming everything inside, as you guys would probably get bored. IMT Transport. Oh, man. This truck is so nice. I think it was just built last year. I believe that's a spare time interior. Jimmy Farrell. Does a lot of the work for these guys. You're good. Pharrell Custom Trucks, they're about two miles from the shop, about a mile from where I grew up. They're in Lancaster County. I don't know what that is. Do you? Valley chrome plating. Some kind of chrome, I guess. Bumpers and stuff. Excuse me. Yeah, this guy up here. That guy with that big sleeper there. He's, that's Super Trucker Dan. He does, he does YouTube videos. See if we can find him around here. Oh, he's right there talking to people. Say hi to him. See these people are done. I think I go outside. Man. I think it's just the one that four states built. Kind of looks like it. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> I was wondering right there's a sign. As I thought, it's the one that four states built, but right there's the sign, so I guess it is that. I gotta go look at this Kenworth. It's another IMT truck. Thank you. Another IMT transport truck.
Yeah, that's where all the crime's at. Get your credit card out. I'll max that thing out real quick. <laughs> Hard not to spend money here. a good bit of filming in here but it's really hard with all the people so most of the content will probably be from outside yeah that's a 359 Go guys, another new one. I don't know. Looks good. Don't like the uh, curved windshield at all. But hey, it's the new thing. Lighting. Excavating. one was done by Dirty Diesels, local company, back home. Single axle. I did a good job on this thing. <laughs> this thing. <laughs> there you can see the lighting underneath. So those guys that painted that truck that we were looking at, it's LNS Truck Painting, a local company. They do all our paint work. Here is Hodge Built. Yeah. Hodge Built, however you say it. Oh, no way. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. 
Look at the detail in these trucks. Probably go for about 150, I'm guessing. Nineteen seventy six W nine hundred A. It's a nice truck. This is a West Wing, a lot of just vendors on this swing. So get through this pretty quickly here. Like I said, a lot of the video will probably be outside tomorrow. It's raining today, so We'll get to that tomorrow, it's supposed to be sunny. So we'll be outside tomorrow, second half of the video. Nice feet. Here's Tim Gentry, Gentry and Sons Trucking, also on YouTube and social media. Put this one together for Matt's. Put the Kenworth doors on the sleeper, which is obviously very unique. <laughs> About that, I almost ran into that pole. Too busy filming. All kinds of cool stuff. Making one last round here. We're getting ready to head back to the house. We'll meet the Mike tomorrow sometime. There's your new Pete flat top. Semi casual built. All right, I think I've had enough. She's sleeping again. Check out the steering wheels here before we leave. One that everybody's buying nowadays is the three spoke, which I think I've seen some around here somewhere. Let's see if we can find them. So many nice steering wheels. Let's see if they got a price. Well, that one says sold. Don't seem like they have prices on them. I think there was some three spokes over here somewhere, right here. Right there, that's what everybody's buying. The retro white one. I think they're like three fifty four hundred dollars. I could ask you. How are you doing? Good. Just looking around. What do those go for? Um about three fifty. Three fifty, yeah. That's what I thought it's right around there somewhere. That's what everybody's buying nowadays. <laughs> Yeah, I've seen a lot of them out there. They're pretty, yeah. They look Another 389X. 
Pretty nice. I don't like the grill, but. Roadworks truck. All kinds of goodies in here. I know some guys on this building. Where you spend the money. Alright, thank you. We got Steve over here filming. Gentry. We're hanging out with Tim here today. <laughs> Walk around the real quick. He's got the door open now, so I might as well look at it. Please do not touch. It's windy guys and I didn't bring my cover for this GoPro so I don't know how the sounds gonna be but I hope it's not too terrible I apologize in advance but I hope the sounds not too bad because it is windy and cold but it's sunny so let's go look at all the trucks outside Wow beautiful restored international farm off it's a 1466 brings back some memories as a kid my dad had the um, 1066 what a setup lessons learned
money somewhere to match this. I'm just kidding. I don't know if these are working trucks or not. But one thing you got to keep in mind with some of these builds is, you know, guys will build a truck for mats. And then, you know, it might work after that. Or, you know, some of these trucks are brand new. And they build them just for this show. And, you know, use it after that. Let's check out Troy Massey's uh, tanker here. It's absolutely insane. If you don't know, you do now. <laughs> anyway, let's get back to this tanker. Wild. The detail in these trucks is just mind blowing. It's crazy. The commitment to these trucks. <laughs> it's crazy. The commitment it takes to build something like this, you know. I mean look at all these watermelons welded to the tank. Crazy. <clears throat> all these lights. It's a lot of maintenance. I don't want to get in your way here. <laughs> yeah, it looks cool. For a property light. That's a lot of maintenance. Yeah, a lot. Of <laughs> There's watermelon lights. I can't see on a poverty light. I have a hard time keeping water out of those things, and I'm trying to imagine having, having a hundred on my truck. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's, it's way more than a hundred. It's probably fifty on the back. <laughs> That's a beautiful blue peat. I think I've seen this truck before. Not sure where. Greg Kaiser. Not sure. Looks familiar. remember right now it's got a name fruit fruit that's what it is I believe <laughs> I think I'm right Wow what a dream
Can you imagine polishing that? <laughs> the upkeep. It's insane in this truck. I believe this truck works. It's crazy. This is Hammett excavating. This looks like Hammett's truck, but it has an Indiana plate, so I'm not sure. Let's find out. No, that's not his. Okay. Looks pretty similar. I know this Kenworth is uh Hunter contracting. I heard they brought a truck. What a beaut. Get out of Pittsburgh. It's Bentleyville. I believe it's Pittsburgh. I'm not positive. Crazy. Look at those photos. Interesting truck. I don't know what that looks like 10, 12 inch pipes. Looks like 12 inch. Look at those mirrors. That's Cody Davis. Davis trucking out of Wyoming. Look at all these. And this truck works hard too. You know, you see this, you see this thing all shined up, but it does work hard. It's not like it sits at home half the time. A lot of work. Of the... But you know, you do see a lot of. I seen uh, Mike's video earlier, and it's like he said, uh, the Boston trucker. He said, you know, this is a this is a family deal. You know, families come out, the kids, everybody get involved in the polishing and the cleaning. It's a it is a family affair, and that's the cool thing about it. You know. This is actually one of my favorites right here. Kenworth with a flat top, big hold. So nice. Look at this trailer. And this truck works too, you know. It's a hard working truck, but look at the detail, it's crazy. I don't know how people trust having these watermelon lights on the side. Like, I would... <laughs> Man, I just can't see how they don't get hit. Look at that, it sticks out. You know, you would have to be pretty... Talk to every forklift driver you meet, I think, and be like, watch out for those lights. Because any little thing's going to break them. You throw a strap too hard, and your hook hits at anything. It's going to break those things right away. Like a nice Peterbilt pulling the tanker. The bandit got the bandit paint job. Goose. Got the planes flying overhead. Look at that Freightliner. Wow.
pinstriping on this thing. Hand painting. That's what that is. I didn't see uh, Flannel Philip. He's here. We should go talk to him. He does this hand art. Go check out that Kenworth next. That's a PA truck as well. This this truck is just gorgeous. I know he's from PA. I would have to look again where, but I can't remember if he's from the 717, but the truck is from Pennsylvania. I think he's a spud hauler, hauls potatoes. Interesting green right there. Never seen those trucks before. PJ Brink. He's got his APU running, so he must be in there taking a nap. Yeah, I'm going here. Another IMT truck. Look at this hopper bottom. Poverty wagon, as they say. this row yet then we'll probably go back inside it's cold Go check out Domingo's Iron Works. I think they're out of Florida. They make some pretty cool custom work, custom stuff. Got DST Transport and another IMT truck over here. It's an I-10. 
nice truck. I don't know. The purple is kind of interesting, but it looks good. We got, I see we got Charlie over there where the dump trailer is. He's over there, I think. I believe he's leased on to Page Trucking, so he's over there by their tent, so let's go check it out. He's on Facebook and social media. Charlie Trucking, I think it's called. Smell some barbecue here. This must be a barbecue truck. standing over there with the cat hat on. That's Charlie. Alright guys, we're getting ready to head out <clears throat> of the show here and head on home. We're going to stay, drive some of the way up and spend the night somewhere, I don't know, Ohio, West Virginia line, somewhere up there. But, but I met a lot, a lot of great, great people. Got to hang out with Tim today and uh, what a fun time. So thank you all for tuning in and thanks again for your support of the channel. And uh, we'll get another video out next week. I'm, I want to go over in that lot there. There's a nice truck with a nice tarp job. Heading out of the show. I'm just going to head over here and show you a few of these trucks on the way out. As we are getting ready to leave. So, just cruising around in the lot here. Nice cattle pot. There's Big Rig Barbie. Blake's truck, as they brought the show truck on the step deck there. So we got some nice trucks sitting over here. all people you know that bring their truck and park at the show that's my buddy Ivan's truck right there look at that KW what a be oh that's a uh, Browning manufacturing I forgot they were here they are from like up near the Maryland PA line they do polishing So I think we're pretty much done, so thanks for uh, tuning in to this video. We are going to head back, drive about half of the way, something like that, and sleep for the night, and then head home in the morning. So thanks for tuning into this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, I did not get to meet Mike then, got to meet some other guys, but didn't get to meet the Boston Trucker. I think he might have left today. So anyway... Thanks for tuning into the video. I appreciate it. Till next time.